Hello and welcome back to Spyro 2 with your Shrillers into the Mad. Now last time we discovered that this is a bit of a grabby situation. And just before I started recording this guy also killed a sheep, so it's not just me who kills sheep. Free. It's not just me. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. You mean that switch over there? The switch? The switch that's been guarded? The guarded switch? The switch? Oh, that's that's some water, alright? I remember this level being rather disorienting. Probably due to a lot of underwater sections. Uh, and the insufficient field of view. For those water sections. Hello. I feel like there's, there's more here to discover. I think that's probably true. But there's a thing that requires me to kill 14 people. I think everything that is here that may be of interest to me is already murdered. Oh, that's gonna be the exit, isn't it? Alright, cool. Hey, sheep! That's an underwater sheep! I'm not gonna barbecue that because I can't breathe flame underwater. At this point of time, anyway. Ooh. Was there a skill challenge for this level? All seaweed, so the answer is yes. We must destroy all seaweed. But the question is, what counts as seaweed? Because this is not seaweed. They had a lot of plant life to this, making it a bit more difficult to recognize what is objectively seaweed in this game and what is not. Okay, so we came from this little hole, and there's also the little hole over here that requires my attention. Oh my god, there's enemies down here. And for a moment we saw nothing, because her camera clipped slightly into the wall and thus we were denied sight. Okay. Let's get some more water in here. Flush me down. Like... I don't want to call myself a shit. Never mind that. Okay, so... Can I just come up here? I can. And there's another water hole down here. Great news. That is tower number five. I don't know what that means. It might become an issue when we get around to orb hunting. She gotta hunt orbs. Oh, and there's some sharks over there. That's great news. Okay, so what's down here? A person with a lightning stick, that's what. Two people with lightning sticks. And they both got very good shots on me. So I think we have to kill some sheepies. Just to keep our sparks fed. Oh, you're in the ceiling, sir. Pardon, are you selling me this fine... You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. You say that. Can I control this or does it just go around delivering me places? So it's just a one time fee of 100 gold to get access to the submarine. Okay. 
That. Did I get. I wasn't moving this way. Also, I was not intending to push the button just yet. It's easier to walk most of the time. I'm pretty sure I've lost track of where I am by this point in time. And I think I need... Oh, another submarine is gone? That's great news. But I'm going to want the power up because I think that's gonna be power for flame or whatever. Seems like it, especially since we look to be at the end now. Oh, and this is tower number four. Talk to me. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Thank you. Now, where do you keep your seaweed? I want to burn it all. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Ship, ship. Ship, we are friend. But the truth is, Sparks is also my friend, and I have to keep Sparks happy. Otherwise, Sparks will not save me from dying. Right. So there's this, and with this, I assume I can do this. No. That? No? I'm gonna guess it's either have to, going to have to be in order or that's just not what this is for right now. Come on, destroy the sharkies. And the chest of loot. There we go. There's more sharks about. Good cool aim, but where's the fun in that? Okay, well, I know there's probably more sharks about. And there's probably like a specific task that I require to do if, uh, when it comes to the number towers. Stealth, we just have towers with numbers on them just for having towers with numbers on them. That's. That doesn't seem like the sort of game design they've gone for. Of course, I may be wrong, but I don't believe I am. I believe, in, in fact, I believe I might be right. Oh, this is also a shark hole. And that's what we're calling those now. Shark holes. Not shark pits or anything like that, no, it's just shark holes. What a bunch of shark holes. Is this a seaweed? Yes, this is a seaweed. Okay, we got one. So the seaweeds are gonna be the red things. They're gonna be red. Big and red. And red to be shed? Or shed? Probably neither. Probably burnt. Alright, yo, then. Is this a hole in the wall? No, it's not. I was just confused with something. And I have no idea what exactly it was that I was confused by. Alright, let's take a look around this. And... Where is this? Alright, this is where money bag was. Were there any... Was there any CV here? Plenty of seaweed here. At least two seaweed here. Now let's go get these two seaweed. But I'm pretty sure there was like an outdoors area in this level. I'm pretty sure. It would explain why we only have like half the stuff. Half the treasure.
This tower number six. What do you mean that didn't hit? There we go. There we go. Right, now I have to figure out... How to get outside the towers. Because I can't say I quite remember, but I think it's this way. It certainly looks like it. And there's a lot more seaweed up here. Which is fine, of course. That's a treasure. Hello, who are you? Talk to me. Or not. Alright, well... My question right now is... Whether or not... There is another... Power up here? Because I don't think I can just... Uh, bubble them to death and I do not appear to be able to charge them either. If someone wants to go riding a manta ray, which sounds like a good bit of fun. So I can't exactly blame him. Not something you should try and to get to do in real life though, apparently that doesn't there's laws against that. You can look but you can't touch. Mostly because it requires you to go get really close to the reefs, doesn't it? Like, a lot closer than... ...ish healthy for the reef. Okay, what else are we missing? We're probably missing something. We are missing 11 money. So that's one. And now I'm just missing the 10. When we have the 10 money... We can start focusing this area for real. By which I mean we can start chasing down the walls. Alternatively, we can talk to Hunter. Yo, hey, what's up? How do I talk to you? Because what I assume. I've been trying to tame my new pet man array, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. How do you get... How do you get a dented manta ray? That sounds like a bad time. For everyone involved. Especially the manta ray. Okay, we get an orb. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Well, I'm glad you found your flippers. How, where are your running shoes, Hunter? Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Of course. Okay, good luck. Okay, so this is still going to be just chase the... Chase the little friend. Ooh, that's... I was not expecting this maneuver. I think I saw a, where the money might be. So that's good. Of course, I may be wrong. Give it to me. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Are you just keeping orbs in your flippers? So if you find your running shoes, how many orbs do you think will be in those? Okay, but I thought I saw a treasure next to this shitman over here, but I may have been wrong. Oh, it doesn't help. Matter. We can talk to him. Two workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. 
you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be saved. Okay. So here's tower number one. A little bit of a sappy wall in between. Here you go. Be safe! Though I don't think these are going to be where the gems are hidden. Okay, tower number two was right next to here, right? Yeah. So these are not any sort of weird furnace stuff. These are... for rescuing children. And are in fact where we can recover an orb. Okay, so where was tower number three? You're not a number tower, are you? I, for some reason my camera was absolutely unwilling to hear, listen to that stick. Okay, this was one, two. Do we go on there? Yeah? Yeah, he has three. <gasps> That's a crap. Holy crap, that was a crap! This would have explained where the gems were, gem was if this was one of those games, but it is not. Okay, uh, let's take a look up. It looks to be... Several zappies. Yes, several. Luckily, the challenge here was not to never get sapped by those, because I would have failed that so many times by now. Friend! Friendship! This is probably not the best way to celebrate friendship. But it's a way to keep sparks alive, which is a way to celebrate friendship. This was tower number five, I believe. This looks to be a bit of lightning, a bit of crab. And of course, I had to just run into that. Right at the last moment. The last possible moment for me to get sapped. Not getting sapped was certainly not an option. By how I play. I don't suppose there's like 10 gems missing down here. No? Okay. Any gems in the tower? No, but there was a sheep. There's also sheep over here that I can borrow. Wait. Well, now I know why that tower was making sounds. Also, hello, gems. There we go. I was wondering about that earlier, but I... didn't consider the fact that there might be crabs inside. I could write that. I don't know if it's any faster than just swimming through, but... Could have done that. Alright, so. Here's tower number six. Oh. And I still had to just get right in it as it was finishing up. You did it! Now we can swim in peace! I heard that you're collecting orbs. Please, take this one. Oh yeah, I like these orbs. These, these are pretty orbs. Guidebook. Aquaria Towers is supposedly at 100%. But we know better. There's more work to be done. Extremely important work. And where's the portal? Not the portal. The other thing. The twin pillars of fire breath. Okay, I'm currently swimming, apparently in a direction that holds absolutely no seaweed. I know there's more seaweed here. Oh, that, that was a miss. That worked. This. That worked. This worked. There has to be more. I'm gonna scout them out. Oh, there's one over here. I think I hit Hunter instead of a plant. Which is a shame because I suddenly 
start to suspect that that might have been the last one. Well, time to check that for a fact. There we go. Fact check says that was not the last one. Right in that case, we have to swim around and find it. Is it between the towers again? Can't see it anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Right, well, I'm gonna stab the sheep with my horns. And... Look around. God damn it! Really? Really? That's the one I missed. Just right over here, right in this corner. Just waiting for me. Oh well. And it's done now. We're fine. We have all the talismans, we can return home. Or we can get stuck on the portal. Like a bunch of doofus. Well, one singular doofus to be honest. I thought I ended their reign. I thought I destroyed them all. Oh, look, it's the Grantier. Nice. That's a good amount of, uh, uh, you know, money to have, I guess. Also, that really dated the video. Not as if I was, you know, recording this pretty much in time. I'm not building a huge buffer right now. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Great news. Uh, that's gonna be a hole. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There, that's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Dragons? Wonderful! Crush! Go back and pack my bags! We're moving in! Say hello to your new king! Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! You idiot! Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar. Quickly! Those are, that's how they got inside Hunter's Flippers. This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer?
And that's how we were kidnapped, dragon napped, to help them out. Hello. That was a moment of silence that I was not expecting. I don't quite remember how this one works. Oh, apparently I should have jumped a bit higher, shouldn't I? Did I just have to go and burn him? And quite possibly, yeah. God damn it. I was jumping, you know. I guess I was jumping too late. Oh, new powers. And also, I was too far away again. Just smack yourself over the head again. Thank you. Uh, let me guess. There is a skill point for perfecting him. That's not gonna happen if I literally just walk into the fireball. Like, that's probably most likely not gonna happen. Oh, he was gonna chase me for that, wasn't he? Two, three. Alright, well, I want to try this again to get the perfect as well, for obvious reasons. Namely, I love skill points and I want them all. I need them all. It is part of uh, a healthy diet to feed Sparks uh, every skill point out there. I don't think I can do that immediately. Oh, you may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, shorty. Go, come here now. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. What? Go, get me out of here. A long dragon. What a wuss. <gasps> That's how books work. They just uh, rip banners right off walls and all that, all that. All that good stuff. Now I don't remember how portals between worlds worked. Oh, that Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. Oh, if Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No! Uh, why you... you... Uh! Oh, he did still keep his money back. I was worried there for a moment. Okay, we are in a new place to find new ways to... Cause trouble for Ripto. But I think that'll be for next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. And without, that is not XCOM. I don't need to punch the table. Just, just bye. Bye bye.